I want to see your skills right now. Let's get in there and push. Oh, that combo was tight. Come on. I love those strikes. Nice combination there. Let's go. Awesome. 
Set it up! on him. Come on. Yes. Let me see those combinations. Good job. 30 seconds. Now we know what we need to work on. Right? Let's go. Today, let's go in there and get after it. <laughs> That's on point. I love those strikes. I love those strikes. Nice combination there. Let's go. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Oh, 
Come on now, let's go! Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Requisite adjustments, he got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's gonna be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? His misses are entertaining. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if the gas tank is this low, you got to find times to... Oh, take down there by Ahmed. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, he's right there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. 
He doesn't know if he's at the Oxytown or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive. Look at that. Oh, the trouble's over. It's over. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here at the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, ready to go with round one. Shades of Vitor Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. He's won his last three fights, all of them by vicious knockout. We'll see if he can keep it going. Oh! oh. He didn't like that left hand. Crazy accuracy and efficiency. He's got to have strikes here to hear the opponent. You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. Starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these rounds. Wow. Wow. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Door. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yes, sir. It goes into the books as a first round win by knockout. Near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jackson! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out for it. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. Thank <laughs> you.